everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a what I got my child for Christmas. He is 18 months old. Um, these are just a majority of them, but there's a few missing that we already gave him. Um, yeah, he's 18 months old and we had a budget of $100, but we went a little bit over. Um, all of this stuff, except for the xylophone, which is right there, were all from Walmart. And the xylophone was from uh, Superstore. Um, I am in Canada, so these prices are Canadian, which I will give you the price for everything. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys like this. Um, please subscribe to my channel, and yeah, let's move on to the first item. So the first item is this Mega Block set. It's a huge box, again from Walmart. It's 250 pieces. It's from age one to five, and this set was. $19.97. Again, this is Canadian pricing, so my son absolutely loves those building blocks, so that was a great find. Um, we'll move on to these stacking blocks. First, I'm going to do the one on the left, the animal um, stacking toy. Um, it comes with seven stackable animals, and it was $5.94. This monkey stack stackable set, there is two sides. I think there's, yeah, 10 pieces in it and it was $4.94. So I thought that was a really good deal as well. My son needed more bath toys, so I got him these boats. There are seven boats and it was for $5. Um, the xylophone, again, was from Superstore. It was $19.99. This shape sorter was $7.94. We have magnetic letters. The magnetic letters were $9.94. Um, my husband's going to make a magnet wall for my son, um, so that will be fun. The ages on this are a little bit higher than 18 months. It says three years, but we're only going to put out a couple, and my son doesn't put anything in his mouth um, anymore anyways, so I think it will be good. Going along with the magnets, um, there's a magnet gear gear toy. There's a closer look. The magnet gear set was $9.94. And then last but not least in this pile is the Disney puzzle. Um, the puzzle was $12.94 and I think it was because it's Disney. So yeah. Um, anyways, these um, gifts are all educational and um, developing his fine and gross motor skills, so I really like um, these options. I also got him, he has a ball pit, and so I purchased more ball pit balls for him. I think there was about 100, and they were $14.96 at Walmart. And then I also got him a pair of winter boots from Walmart, and they were $25.97. So for a grand total of $137.53, I know it might be a lot for all of you, but we have one child in the family, um, one grandchild, one great-grandchild, so he's the only <laughs> only one that's small in the family right now, so um, we really want to spoil him. Um, again, his, his presents from his grandparents stay at his grandparents' house, so these toys will only be the ones at our house. Um, Plus, he only has baby toys right now, which is not <laughs> suitable for his age. So I really wanted to get him some toys that matter. Um, I also want to get him books, um, little car sto um, stocking stuffers, like cheap ones. Um, maybe some more little bath toys and then some coloring stuff. So crayons or whatever. But um, a lot of my family has been asking what he wants or what he needs. And that is what I'm going to ask um, from them. So I hope you guys enjoy this very quick video. Again, subscribe and I also do have an Instagram. It's budgetqueen2018. Um, yeah, I'd love for you guys to follow me on that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, see you guys next time. Bye.